All right, let's jump back in. <clears throat> All right. Do I remember what I was doing? Oh, I have friend requests. Approve. 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 Oh, I can only have 18 friends. But I think that number goes up. <laughs> As I play. I think that's how that works. Um, alright. We are... We are jumping into... Book one. We are ready. Oh, we have four vignettes. Alright, we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna start with... We're gonna start the new story, and then we'll come back to this. A Desperate Heart. Oh, I forgot I had to push the screen. Hurry up and paint those roses red. Slather them quickly as aforesaid. Okay. Hurry, hurry. There are still roses left to paint. They're painting roses? Why are you painting these white roses red? Oh my god, Alice is there. Huh? Why, you ask? It's quite simple. We pl uh, planted the wrong color, you see. The queen likes her roses red. If they're white, we'll all lose our head. Should I play Twisted Wonderland? Absolutely. I mean, it's free. You can at least try it. Goodness. It's free to download. And so, we're painting the roses red. Is this like a dream? What is happening? Um, I could have sworn I was asleep in my dorm. Oh, I was asleep in my dorm. I feel like I was having the strangest dream. Yeah, hey Jason. I know it's the middle of the night, but I think we've got a visitor. Maybe it's those pesky ghosts again. They just don't know when to quit. The game is very, um, it very much feels like a visual novel. So if you like visual novels, it also just kind of feels like you're playing through a Disney themed anime. Which I'm fine with, you know? Like, I'm enjoying the story. I'm enjoying the characters. I'm enjoying the world. Um, who would be here at this hour? It's me, Ace. Just let me in, all right? Ace, isn't it the middle... Uh, it's the middle of the night. That collar. Oh! I can't go back to Hearts, Hearts Labule house. I'm joining your dorm. For good. Come again? That was the entire first chapter. Um, okay. I can't remember what these vignettes earn us. Let's do one of the vignettes. Hello, Kitty Cat Gundam 81. Welcome back. Ignorance is no inconvenience. These are just like little story segments. But I thought they I thought we got something from them, but I can't remember. Oh, it's Riddle. Isn't it time you stepped aside? Your group is blocking the hallway. Sorry about that, House Warden Hearts. You aren't even going to spare the exam results a glance, Riddle? Ah, hello, Azul. What would be the point when the results are always the same? True enough, when you earn perfect scores in every subject, you're a shoo-in for first. 
I thought you may have slipped for once, but I see you aren't one to be mis uh, to be underestimated. Oh, but I did struggle with one question. The essay regarding the culture of the land of scalding sands. I, fr I saw, I accepted your friend request. Or at least I think I did. I just, I just accepted all the ones I got. Just three days before the exam, a paper was published citing new discoveries to propose a wholesale reevaluation of the kingdom's history. I assumed not touching upon this interpretation would mean a deduction in points. That was a difficult one indeed. So difficult, in fact, I heard the faculty held a meeting about it. Apparently because one student managed to answer it perfectly, they decided to deduct points from the rest of us instead. My apologies for that. Not at all. We all had access to that new paper. You're simply the only one who took notice of it. I'll have to keep a closer eye on any new research that crops up, lest I start to lose my edge. And I, of course, will do the same. History in particular is never set in stone. Well, I must be off. Until the next House Warden's meeting, I bid you farewell. Hearts of the Buell dorm. Hey, Ace. I got some sweets from Trey to sample. Want any? Uh, Cater? Is that this character's name? Do I? My stomach was just yelling at me, too. Wait one sec. I gotta snap some pics before we dig in. Hmm, maybe this angle will work. Perfect. Give me another sec while I upload this to Magic Cam. What the hell is Magic Cam? We haven't talked about that in the story yet. Oh, hey. Isn't that a phone case you have crazy popular? Sure is, and mine's legit, too. Not one of those knockoffs that are, like, on every corner now. Nice. I've been looking for one. Different design, though. You know, that one with the weird creatures that got a bushy uh, head and feet coming out of its eyes. Yeah, that one's alright. It's just this diamond pattern really speaks to me. It's like it was made for us. Made for you, maybe. Perhaps the two of you should consider having a sit if you insist on keeping this up. Whoa, you just popped up out of nowhere. How long have you been here? I returned to the dorm only a moment ago. And putting the Queen's Laws aside, prattling on in front of the entrance is simply bad manners. Sorry, guess we weren't thinking. Sure weren't. By the way, have you seen Cater's phone, House Warden? Isn't it awesome? You purchased a new phone? Not the phone itself. I'm talking about the case. It's got a diamond pattern, see? So it does. What about it? It's the hottest thing on Magic Cam right now. There's even been features in magazines and stuff about how it's been selling out left and right. Has it? What about it is so unique, then? Is it the work of a reputable designer or some such? Hello, Faith158. You don't know? Everyone's been talking about it. Chill, Ace. Reels never cared about the latest trends. Really? How do you even manage to hold a conversation with anyone? Well, I'll have you know that I've never been inconvenienced by, uh, for knowing what's in vogue before. I got to chapter 1 through 5. Oh my god, really? What if Magic Hem winds up on an exam, though? Might spell an end to your perfect score streak. He gets a perfect score on every exam? Nuh uh, no way, no how. You'd have to have. Have to have what? You think I managed to stoop so low as to violate the rules for my impeccable record? Uh, good point. You're about the last person who'd do something like that. Bet. But with all the studying you do, it's no wonder you don't know what's going on in the real world. I think it's hilarious that one of the characters just said bet because I make fun of one of my friends for. Well, not make fun, but I like. One of my friends says that a lot, and I'm always like, I don't understand that word! And now they're using it in this game. Not to worry, though. Ace has got your back. See, this design is... I don't recall asking for your help. And besides which, did I not just tell you that I've never once been inconvenienced by this gap in knowledge? Now that you understand, at least, I hope y you do, please either sit down or return to your rooms to study. Okay. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to look into a little... Story cleared. I wish I knew... I wish there was a way to tell if I had already completed these. Because, like... Does that mean I've completed it? Oh, there's another one. Interesting. I don't know, let's go back to the main story. 
No, chapter one, episode five. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, okay. Misappropriated tart. I'd recognize that collar anywhere. It's the same one that Psycho stuck on me at orientation. What did you do to get shackled with that? I ate a tart. Um, are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's all I did. I was a little hungry, see, so I went down to the dorm kitchen and found some tarts in the fridge. Three whole tarts. Big ones, too. Oh, Ace. Hearts love your dorm. Oh, man, I'm still tired from our little adventure. I missed dinner, too, and now I'm starving. Got anything for me, Fridge? Whoa, score. Tarts. Those look amazing. And plenty to go around, too. No one would notice if I snagged one teensy little slice, right? Right, of course not. <laughs> a little heads up, there's a new rhythm game in this chapter. Oh gosh. So good. I'm in pastry paradise right now. Of course they're good. Trey made them. His tarts are always exceptional. Yeah, but I mean, these are crazy good. Like, he could sell these at... Wait, House Warden? That you would think to touch something of mine. Well, I'm impressed with your audacity, at least. But the Queen of Hearts' soul, Hearts's Rule 89 is quite clear. Never eat a tart without the Queen's permission. The theft of tart is a serious crime. Off with your head! Oh my gosh. Yikes. And here I am. So, the point is, you're both terrible. <laughs> oh my god. You don't think that it's insane for my magic to get sealed away for eating one slice of tart? <laughs> for a mage, that's like having your arms and legs bound and shackled. And there were three whole tarts. Three. It's not like he could eat all of them himself. my camera a little bit. There we go. Come on, you know this is messed up. It does seem a tad extreme. Right? Yeah, but, I mean, if there were three of them, they were probably for a party. Maybe it was someone's birthday or something. Look at that. I'm like a master detective, too. <laughs> a birthday party, huh? Did you even apologize? Man, I thought you'd be more sympathetic. I'm a victim of the house warden's tyranny here. I'm a victim. Um... Stealing food is a serious offense. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. If you apologize, I'm sure he'll forgive you. You don't go messing with another man's meal. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized I never got those cans of tuna the head mage promised me. Alright, alright, fine. I get that I should apologize, but you're coming with me. This was your idea, after all. Fair enough. Anyway, you got a place for me to crash tonight? You were serious about that? Outside of the bedroom, me and Jason used, uh, this entire dump is buried under a foot of dust. So if you want to crash, you better start cleaning. Dude, no way. I hate cleaning. Just let me stay with you. I'm real slim. I won't take up much space. Sir. Yeah, you can sleep on the sofa. You're about as flexible as a brick. Well, fine. The sofa it is. Why is he trying to get in my bed? Sir! This is not a house of sin. <laughs> Dude, who is pounding on the door at this hour? Blech. Every hit kicks up a dust storm. I'm coming, I'm coming. I hope we eventually, like, make our dorm nicer. It's so ugly right now. Figured I'd find you here. Ugh, deuce. So you ate the house warden's tart. You really are an idiot, Ace. Oh, shut up. Like, you're one to talk. Anyway, uh, is he still mad? Not at all. Maybe a touch irritated, if anything. A few of our dorm mates overslept this morning, but only three of them got your treatment. You call that not at all mad? Sounds like he's still on a rampage to me. Move it. Out of the way. Night Raven College student coming through. Oh, did my collar catch your eye? It is way better than the one you're stuck with. You know, the one that makes it so you can't use magic. But hey, the school could always use another janitor. <laughs> Way to take the high, high road, Grim. Grr, trust me, Grim, when I get my magic back, your height is first up on the chopping block. Didn't the head mage just tell you yesterday no more incidents? Regardless, you're not going to be able to participate in class if you can't use magic. So why not just apologize to the house warden? It's a small price to pay for having the collar removed. 
I hate this so much. Mm, you know, we do still have some time to kill before class starts, and I am kind of curious about the other dorms. Guess I'll go along and scope out the place while you make with the groveling. Since when, since when did this become a field trip? Story cleared. Well, next one is a music game. Let's do it. All right, now we have to actually like try. <laughs> Card decoration. Ooh. Hearts of the Buell dorm. Dang, this place is swank. This is nothing like our dumpster of a dorm. Um, our dorm is a work in progress. <laughs> We've had it rough, okay? Rose maze. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm getting my paint on. Uh, someone's here. They all gotta be red or it's off with my head. I've seen this, um, I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? You guys need something? What are you doing here? Are you blind? I'm painting these roses red. Duh! What? Why? Aha, uh -huh, so naive. You put the N in noob. Hold the phone. I know you're the, you're the ones that broke a billion uh, thumb arc thin chandelier and nearly got expelled for it, yeah? That chandelier is gonna haunt us till the day we graduate, isn't it? And you, you're the one who ate the house warden's tart that same night. You guys are the hot topic around campus. I've gotta get in on this fleeting fame. I'm just gonna grab a selfie real quick. Yay! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> it's cool if I post this on Magic Cam, right? Give me your name so I can tag you. Oh my god, I love him. So far, okay, so far, Cater uh, is my favorite of the of the Hearts of Yule characters. <laughs> Although I really like Deuce as well. I'm Grim, and that's my henchman. I'm not your henchman, you will. Uploaded, sweet. Oh, I'm Cater Diamond, by the way. I'm a junior here at Hearts of Yule. But Cater is fine, or KK if you're quick. Okay, I take it back. He just lost points. That little joke. We can't. We can't have it. So nice to meet you. Wow. <clears throat> he seems superficial. Ah, uh, you're the prefect of that so-called ramshackle house dorm, right? Like, I can't believe you actually live there. It's all gloomy and looks like hot garbage on Magic Cam. No filter could salvage that dump. You know, you've done nothing but diss us here, pal. God, what am I doing? I don't have time to chat. Party's tomorrow. If we're not ready, it's off with my head. Hey, you kids want to help me paint some roses? Yeah, uh, why are you doing that exactly? Because red roses are so much more photogenic or something. And after that, I've got to start getting uh, things ready for the big cro uh, croquet tournament. And that means coloring all the flamingos. Sigh. You're coloring flamingos now? Isn't anything the right color around here? Now it's coming into focus, Ace. That tart you ate must have been for the house warden's birthday. That explains his reaction. Mm? Oh no, it's not Riddle's birthday. It's not? Then whose birthday is it? It isn't anyone's birthday. Tomorrow is our dorm's traditional unbirthday party. Okay. <laughs> we just, if you guys have been following along, I've been like watching all the Disney movies in chronological order. So we just watched Alice in Wonderland a couple weeks ago. So this is like kind of fun because we, because I just watched the movie. It's a special tea party we throw when no one has a birthday, if the house warden feels like it. And why would you do that? Again with the questions. Listen, I need these roses to be red, like yesterday. Can't you guys help out with magic or something? Oh, but Ace is on magical house arrest and uh, you are, and Jason is a total normie. So you two better stick to paint. Recolor the roses with magic? Can't say I've ever done this before. Relax, it'll be fine. You got this. But maybe do it before I lose my head. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, so this is the music game, is painting the roses. Oh my god, what is this? Notes shrink as they approach the center. Tap target directly. Oh, I actually have to like touch them. Tap the target directly when the note overlaps with it. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna go like over the roses and I have to tap them as they hit the roses. Is that what's happening? Alright, now I have to focus. I have to actually look at my phone screen and like try. 
Not pink, not green, not aquamine. It's red, rose, or nothing. I'm sure we can bang this out in no time flat. I don't know, as much of a painter, but I'll give it my best shot. In the other case, this will be a piece of cake. No slacking off, okay? Okay, I'm a little stressed. Oh, I, I understand. I missed the first one entirely because I didn't get it. I thought they were gonna move. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm getting a uh, hang of this. Look at me, I can get all of them. Yeah, oh, they're not red, Jesus. Gotta do it more like this. Oh, he's like really good at this. Thanks, keep this up and we'll be done before you know it. Did we get to SS? We did. Yes! Done. I got it red in one shot. Yeah, same here. Looking good. Just smooth it out a little more and it'll be and you'll be golden. The trick is to picture a real red rose in your head when casting. That really helps. Thanks. Red rose, red rose. <laughs> I want to use some magic. So, like, a little behind the scenes if you're watching and you're, like, not sure why when I get the, when I have those, I have to, like, look down. So, I'm playing on my phone, but I have it hooked up to be able to stream onto Twitch, and I have it hooked up into the TV, because that's the only way I could figure out how to get sound, so I could actually hear the sound. So, I'm playing most of the game actually watching it on my TV, but then when I do those games, because there's just, like, the slightest delay, I have to, I have to play it, like, staring at my phone to, like, focus on it. Um, we have enough to do a poll. Should we do a poll to see if we can get, um, if we can get Riddle? What do you guys think? Because if we do, um... Because <clears throat> we can do this. Because we have enough to do 300. What do you think? Should we do a tenfold summon? I don't think there's like a reason to save my gems at this point, right? All right, well, I'm gonna do the next chapter. And you guys can tell me if you think I should do, should I try and get a riddle or not? Actually, let's go do a lesson really quick. Hmm. Yes, Paul. Okay, I'll do it after this. Uh... I don't need a textbook. Yeah, hello, Anime Girl 2107. Welcome to the chat. Nah. 
マナーのなっていないことだ。I'm not sure what all those items are for. The Queen of Hearts domain was replete with eccentric subjects. Some of them were recalcitrant, others made everything into riddles. Her Majesty presided over this chaos as both ruler and jurist. She was a remarkable ruler indeed. It is my aim to achieve even a sliver of her greatness. Alright, let's go do a poll and then we'll continue with the story. Um, SSR guaranteed SSR showcase. I don't know which one to do. I mean, if this one's featured, I feel like that's the first one I should do to try and get him. In each tenfold summon. Yeah, let's do it. Tenfold summon. 300. Here we go. Alright, we're going to summon ten characters. See what we get. Alright, first up, we got... From Diosomnia. Oh, Malleus. Okay, in his school uniform. Oh, I already had him once, so now he's just a higher level cap. How do you level up characters? <laughs> I don't know how to, like, look at my characters and see if they're level... Okay, Leona's PE uniform. I mean, this was nothing but him with the, like, okay. I don't like getting hot and sweaty, but I'll do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> I need an adult. What is happening? Oh, we got Cater. I didn't have Cater before. Want some tips on how to liven up your school life? Just come to me. Oh. Rook. Um. I'm quite athletic, if you'd believe it. Care to test me with a game of tag? You can level up characters by taking history lessons. Where do, Where can you... I guess I have to look after this, because I don't know where to go to see if they're leveled up or not. Oh my god, Rid Riddle's Labware? Some say that potions and cooking are similar, but I cannot bring myself to agree. Do they also level up with flying lessons, though, and, like, with the other stuff? Oh, Cater's PE uniform. I think they level up with all those things, right? It makes me want to barf when people are like, your sweat glitters like the fountain of youth. Bro, I'm just tired. <laughs> I take a picture of that. That's funny. I love that. <laughs> Oh. Jamil. I oh I thought I already had Jamil in the his uh Embrace caution and precision and you'll never have reason to fail. Oh, this is our SR Vil in ceremony robes. If you're a student of Night Raven College, you should always carry yourself with dignity. Oh, I don't know that we're gonna- I don't think we're gonna get Riddle. Yeah, I mean, that's not Riddle. I mean, we got some Riddle, but we didn't get, like, the SRR Riddle. Okay, I already had him a couple times, so... Oh, this could be him. Nope, this is Deuce. In his school uniform. Honor students excel in both their studies and club activities. Oh, yeah, we didn't get an SRR that time. We just got an SR. That's okay. I mean, we still got tons of new characters, so it's fine. Um, okay. I want to see Flying Lessons upgrade episode level. And that is where you can read the character's story in them. Where do you look at all of that? Like, where is all of that? Oh, cards, maybe? Different items improve your cards in different ways. Vignette level, card level, spell level, uncapping, okay. Okay, I see. So, like, this is only level two. Ooh, 
Raising a card's level increases its HP and power. Earn Blooming Honey from History Magic Lessons. Vignette level equals episode level. Okay, so like, for example, this is how I can like level them up. And this also costs money too, I see. So like this levels him up to level like level three. Oh, interesting. Okay, so like, can I organize my cards? Is this organized? This is organized by rarity. Okay. Yeah, this is organized by rarity. It looks like. So like, oh, interesting. It's almost like how much. Like, how much do I want to upgrade all these characters? I guess I'll upgrade some of them to level 3 for now. Like, some of the ones I use more often. When you go to do a quest, does it tell you, like, recommended card level so that you can, like, work on it? Like, I know, you know how some games do that? Like, I played Cookie Kingdom before, and when you go to do a quest, it's like, um, oh, the recommended level for this quest is blah, 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 right? Um, I wonder if it does that in this game. Well, I'm just upgrading a couple characters for fun. Okay, I'm starting to understand the meta of this game a little more. So you get these from doing history lessons. And then, so let's go back to, let's go back to Leona. So Leona, vignette level. Raising cards vignette level unlocks vignettes. Earn secret snacks from flight lessons. So like for these... Oh, these take a lot more, like, work to level up. So, like, that doesn't, that, these take a lot more. And then spell level. Raising a spell's level makes it more powerful in battle. Earn spell enhancements from alchemy lessons. Okay. Okay. So... Oh, I see. So I have to have those items to upgrade the spell. And then uncap level. Uncapping a card raises its level cap. Obtain Awakening Perfume by summoning cards that are fully capped. Got it. But I don't need to worry about that right now because he's only level 3. <laughs> so let's let's use our last thing to like, let's do these two to, to upgrade him a little bit further. Oh my god, I'm starting to understand this game now. Because I was doing the lessons and stuff, and I was like, what What even is this for? Like, what's the point? So what is groovification? Use an item when conditions are met to get a groovy version of a card. Groovy versions of cards feature different art. Each groovification items, um, I'll earn them from alchemy. So, like, I don't have any right now for him. Okay. I understand all of this one million times better than I did earlier. Which is a good thing. So that was cards, twist tunes, missions, shop. Okay. And this is 30 day pass. Okay, this is where you buy gems. Okay, I see. Okay, so lessons I'll do more of later. Let's jump back into the story. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, this is going to be a battle. So hopefully it tells us. So, 
Okay, we're gonna bring in a level 40, because why wouldn't we? See, it, I don't think it tells you what the recommended level of the characters... It doesn't tell you what the recommended level for the mission is. Which is kind of interesting. Student multiplication. Welcome everyone, uh, by the way, that's in the that's watching the stream. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're enjoying watching Twisted Wonderland. Hartsfield Dorm, Rose oh, Maze. Oh, red, red, so bam. Whoa, whoa, it turned blue. <clears throat> Change, oh foul color. Change! The rose caught on fire. Wow, you're even less competent than I thought. Yo, maybe you should just leave the roses white. They look perfectly pretty and stuff to me. <laughs> perfectly pretty and stuff. It's a matter of tradition. You can't have an unbirthday party without the roses being red. And you can't play croquet without seven colored flamingos as mallets and a hedgehog for a ball. Oh, but of course, the roses need to be white when the garden flowers put on their spring concert. That's absolutely crucial. Obviously. All your rules are completely insane. They say the Queen of Hearts made up these rules herself. She was one of the great seven, you know. And Riddle is all about tradition, probably more than previous house wardens, TBH. I'll admit that he's, well, a bit extra. Yeah, no kidding. I sure don't have time for this nonsense. Is Riddle here? I gotta talk to him. Yeah, probably. But are you sure that's wise? Did you even bring an apology tart to replace the one you ate? Uh, no. I came here first thing in the morning. Ah, that could be a problem. Have you forgotten Rule 53? Stolen items must be replaced. If you're not in compliance, I can't let you in. Um, Can Blow, thank you, uh, Can El Blow, Can El Bow. God, I can't say your name. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Jesus, I'm like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Stolen items must be replaced. If you're not in compliance, I can't let you in. Are you serious? All dorm residents must obey the rules. If I let you slide, it would be off with my head next. I hate to say it, Ace, but I'm gonna need you to leave before Riddle spots you. Thanks. I think this guy is for real. You guys do something. Why should we do anything? It's a game now. Yeah. Well, so this is always this was a game first, and it's going. They're gonna release an anime for it as well. But it has been a game in Japan, and it just came out. Do uh, it just came out in the. Um, in the U.S. and Canada. It is available for free on mobile devices in the U.S. and Canada. So it's on iPhone and, and, and um, Google Play Store. Come on, please. I can't use magic. Hurry, he's... Oh, nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, that's right. I have it on. I have it on auto. Oh, man, that level forty riddle is not playing around. I said, "Oh, he healed." Rude. Get him. Oh my god. Is he gonna heal fully every time? What? Oh, this is just one where I have to survive for, for five rounds. Yeah, this is a survival one. <laughs> survive or beat him. Wow! What a jerk. Battle over. Smooth to the end. I just thought it was a manga that was being turned into an anime. No, it's actually, I mean, there is like a, there's like kind of a manga thing that you can read online, but it's mainly, um, it's mainly a game, um, that's being turned into an anime. Do make sure you bring that tart next time, okay? Bye-bye bye now. Was that guy for real? We hit him over and over, but he just kept coming. Maybe he was using some kind of illusion magic? 
So let me get this straight. We walked in there totally tartless, but this dude still made us do that whole song and dance before throwing us out. He just wanted to make us paint his stupid roses. We sure look like a bunch of chumps. I guess we'll just have to get an apology tart and come back. Maybe after class we can... Oh no. What's wrong? We already missed the first bell. We're going to be late for class. Yeah, I don't want to get a blemish on my first day of my glorious Night Raven education. Shake a leg, chumps, to the classroom, pronto. Hey, so what class are you guys in anyway? You're a freshman too, right? The head mage said we're in class 1A. Hey, that's the same one I'm in. We got po uh, potionology for first period. Oh no, yeah, that sounds awesome. Maybe I don't need magic for that. Story cleared. Alchemy, we're, oh, the next one's a music one. All right, let's do the next one, and then we're going to do some classes to earn some stuff to level up our characters. Laboratory. Oh my god, Cruel! Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> Hello, Rocky. Welcome to the chat. Oh my gosh, um... Chrissy, thank you for hosting the stream. And Rocky, thank you for the follow. It's so good to have you all here. Thank you for hosting. Thank you for following. It's good to it's good to have you here. Um, hello, Canel Bow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. I know, poor Ace. Um Oh, Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for hosting as well. Thank you. Um, okay, let's talk about Cruel. I have feelings. Um feeling number one. Hello, sir. Um, ah, you must be new, my new homeroom students. Sir, I'm whatever you need me to be. If it's, <laughs> hmm, that's quite the unusual coat of fur. Do make sure that you are, that you arrive properly groomed. My name is Divas Cruel. You may call me Master Cruel. <laughs> cannot. Uh, now take your seats. Class is about to begin. We're going to start with the basics. Well, hello, Cruel. You look attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and by that I mean beating the names and distinguishing characteristics of 100 herbs and poisons into your tiny brains. The mycelia are another matter, but eventually I'm hopeful you'll be able to take a walk without putting anything poisonous into your gaping maws. For now I realize you have the self-control of voracious hounds. I thought he was going to teach potionology for a minute and, and went, that doesn't seem like class a class cruel you should teach. Almost choke on my boba. Oh my god. But I will not abide a single student failing this class. Expect to be drilled accordingly. I... <laughs> Sir. Sir. I'm gonna need you to buy me dinner first. I need a screenshot of that. For science. Um, huh, so does anyone know what a mycelia is? I've never been one for, like, memorizing what, are th uh, what things are, you know? All I care about is how to tell the yummy plants from the yucky ones. Okay, that was a lot. Did anybody learn anything in potions class? The answer is no. Um, okay, now we're in history. Oh my god, do we get to meet all the teachers? Train? What is he? Oh, okay. So he's supposed to be like, um, he's supposed to be like, um, Lady Tremaine, right? At first I was like, who, who the hell is he? But the cat. Oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy. Cinderella's stepmom, yeah, Lady Tremaine. I am your history of magic teacher, Moses Train. And this is my familiar, Lucius. Okay, so in the in in Cinderella, Lady Tremaine's cat is Lucifer. Yeah, the cat and bitchy face could <laughs> be. You are here to learn the rich history of magic and how it was sculpted the world which you now so easily take for granted. <laughs> I grade based on classroom behavior as well as the quality of work. Don't let me catch you sleeping. Now let us open our books to page 15. This section con concerns the mage stones discovered in the dwarf's mind. I'm so glad the cat is meowing as part of this lecture. As knowledge and awareness of magical energy began to spread across the globe from this point, this year is considered year one of the magic era. 
<laughs> the, the cat's, like, commentary. I just realized that the cat has a tuxedo just like my cat. Of course she would teach history. All judgy, too. Whoa. Fascinating. Dwarf's mind. <laughs> Magical energy. Man, when do you get to the classes where he blows stuff up with magic? Oh my god, this is Gaston. <laughs> we already know, because we already saw Gaston teaching us Quidditch earlier. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Okay, so this is P.E. Vargas. I'm Coach Vargas, and physically educate, uh, and physically educating your feeble little bodies is my responsibility. Great sorcery begins with a great physique. Behold the muscles you can build with a diet of raw eggs. Oh look, he grew up. A great mage needs a great physical constitution, so give me 20 laps and 100 push-ups. Blech. The forced exercise is bad enough, but meatheads like this guy drive me nuts. Finally, a subject I'm good at. Oh, Deuce likes the sports. Explain to me the appeal of running around in circles. Do I look like a hamster? I don't find, I still don't find him attractive. No, it's fine. It's fine. Break time. Um... Let's see, our next class is... This is, uh, this so-called Magic Academy feels a lot like a lame, ordinary school. It's not exactly what I expected, but at least this collar won't be much of a problem after all. You with me on that, Grim? Hmm? Um, huh? Where'd Grim go? Oh, look out the window! I just saw a ball of fur running across the yard! Oh, no. No way am I putting up with this boring routine day in and day out. I'm Grim, sorcerer prodigy, and I don't need no one to teach me how to blow stuff up. Oh, my God. This cat is going to be the death of me. The head mage is going to be furious. Boy, that guy is not a fast learner. Not a good look to lose to your only student on your first day as prefect. Want help catching him? Um, please, Ace. Please, Deuce. I do love the chocolate croissants at the co-op. I do it for a nice latte at the cafeteria. Oh, Grim's getting away. Do we have a deal or what? Done and done. Pleasure doing business. Now, do shall we clean up the mess uh, made by the worst prefect to ever set foot on campus? I can already taste that latte, Ace. Oh my god. Out to cause trouble. Um, better head to class and be a good little gremlin if you know what's good for you. Yeah, you're not really gonna haul me back, are ya? For freebies, I'd haul you back twice. What does that even mean? No way, I'm gonna, I'm going back to those dumb, boring classes. You can't make me. Of course, food is the best way to get someone to do things. Yeah. Oops. I used the wrong button. Oops. Man, I like totally missed the first one because I <laughs> got confused about the blue and red situation. Are you ready to throw it in and behave for uh, the prefect? I love his little punchy paws. They're so cute. Oh my god. Attack. Yikes. I expected some difficulty, but this is ridiculous. Look at his net. Oh my god. Yeah, we got to SS. This is so nostalgic to look at. I can't wait for the events to come around. Uh, what are the events like? I'm so curious. Do you know? 
I summon the cauldron. Oh my god, I forgot he could like summon cauldrons. Score one swank lunch for us. Back to class you go, Grim. It seems like you're under the Wonderland house. Do you get to play as part of the other houses for the stories? I, so when I first selected what I was doing for the story, I did not pick the Wonderland house. I picked, um, I picked, uh, Savannah Claw. So it actually doesn't matter. This is what you would play no matter what you chose. Came late, but glad I could watch you live. Uh, came from your YouTube Twisted Wonderland video. Love your commentary. Oh, thank you so much, Noda. Thank you for being here. All right, so the next one is a battle. So let's go. Um, let's go do some stuff to level up our characters a little bit. You so we'll do some lessons. Good. So we have to do history lessons. So let's look at what my characters are that I'm leveling up. So the characters I'm working on leveling up. Um. Are kind of these ones in the top? Okay, so she is Diasomnia. Um, I think he is also Diasomnia. Um, he is Pomfior, and then he is Scarabia. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So let's do... Oh, does it auto? I mean, are those all the characters I would normally be using? do him because I think he's one of the characters that's like in my team hello yeah I think those are the characters that like get put in my team I think I'm um I'm curious as to what each of the characters in this series looks like yeah we're like slowly meeting all of them yeah can't wait ghost marriage what yeah. Um, Carl, you're, there's a smoothie for you in the fridge. Um, I'll tell you in a little bit. She had kind of a rough day. She had a rough day. But I'll tell you a little bit. So, like, what did I get from that that makes it so... I didn't get any items from that, right? Oh, wait, they level up from doing this? Like, they get experience to level up. Oh, and then I get that. Okay, I understand, I understand, I understand. Ah, I can't wait for the Fairy Gala event. What? She's having a hard time standing up. But like a really hard time. Um. All right. Let's do another history class. The owner card is best. Yeah, I had to re-roll for him a couple times to get him. So when I do this, all of these characters that are in this class are leveling up too, right? Like, they're all getting points. It's not just him. At least that's my understanding. Oh, special lesson. Colleen, behave yourself. 
分かっている If they get stars, yes. Okay, so I want to like watch this. So they are actually getting experience. Yes. Okay, so they're actually leveling up from doing this. Okay, that was the part that I kind of missed last time. And then I get these things that I can then use to level them up further. Okay, got it, got it, got it. How long does it take you to buy two drinks for crying out loud? Whatever, just give me the one, uh, the other one of yours. Why so surprised? I know how to reward good service. The King of Beasts never discriminated against even the smallest be um, herbivores. He even shared the spoils of his hunts with the hyenas, a group of pariahs. The housewarden of Sav Savannah Claw ought to follow his example. I want to download this game and join Ursula's house. She's my favorite Disney villain. Paint up like birds of feather to study, huh? Okay, so one thing I want to check... Okay, so... Okay, so I go look at cards, right? So is this... So this... This is obviously a different card than... This is a different card than the one that I was just using because the one that I was just using is his classroom outfit but this one is still leveling up right am i understanding that right oh because they just automatically put on their classroom outfit when you do that because they're in a class yeah i think that makes sense um, Bean Day was so exciting. I want to download this game and join Ursula's house. Uh, when I first started this game, I joined Octavanel, but now I stand, uh, stand Diasomia. Card level. So we can level him up a little bit. I <laughs> Okay, so then... Start. And then... Effects run out during repeated lessons. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, special lesson. Perfect. Now's the time to raise my hand. I know, it's been really fun to play it on the TV. This is Scravia Excel Scravian Excellence. Oh, you can change their outfits so that she's wear them. The clothes they have on their card. Oh, I ranked up. I mean, I guess the whole thing with this is you just kind of do it over and over again when you're trying to level them up, right? And I don't think there's any reason not to do auto on this, I don't think. Should I cut class? Well, I didn't get much from that one. Wow, leveling up this way is kind of hard. Alright, we'll do one more and then we'll go do the next story quest. 
仕事は絵はなし。猫と目が合う。朝から退屈だ。100年前から変わらない。お聞き逃しのないよ。競争がトップを作る。何を驚いてんだよ。野生の感。Alright, so let me go use the file the files I got. I feel bad using the files on characters that aren't like I mean I guess I could just use the file on him. Cards, okay. Like, I can just continue leveling him up because he's my SRR. I recommend leveling up the SSR card and placing it in the profile as a support card. In your profile as a support card. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let me level this up. Oh, no, you're fine, Yui. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate it. Okay, so the question then is... My question is, how do I place it in my profile as a support card? What do I do to do that? Is it under cards? Like, if this is my profile, friends... Oh, profile. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oh, I see my support card. So I can pick this one. Got it. And I can change this to that. Um, I'll change this too, just because I want it to be different. Um, all of that is fine. Do I have any others? Aaron, I think Aaron Runner is the only one I have right now, right? Yeah, it seems... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? What's that? What's that? Rhythm Follower, Novice Scrapbooker. I'm going to do Rhythm Follower. Visitor to the Villain's World. Set his first title. Um, and then I'll do... Novice Scrapbooker as the second title. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get back to the story. <laughs> um, oh, I got another mission done. Okay, let's do the next story mission. Oh, we have more vignettes to do, too. Hopefully we're high enough level for this next quest. Um, okay, let's... We're gonna pick a... I'm gonna do this level 40... Um, Rose Hearts again. If you take 1,000 lessons with the Leona, you'll get the title of Leona's Bestie. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Okay, here we go. Jump in. A carbonara scrape. All right. I've had it with these boring classes. Um, you're making a scene. <laughs> when did you get all bossy? Lunchtime at last. They got some good looking grub. Ooh, a buffet. That's fancy. Look how fluffy those omelets are. Ooh, grilled chicken and a bacon and egg tart. Dude, inside voices. Where was this energy earlier today? Thank you for the follow, Yui. Thank you so much. Uh, Jason, grab me the grilled chicken. There's only one left. 
and an omelet too, and that jelly-filled bread. Just fill your whole tray with them. Hey, watch where you're going. My carbonara, you broke the yolk. Whoa, that's messed up. Poking the egg is the best part. You better make this right, pal. I'm gonna need that grilled chicken of yours as compensation. No way, hands off the bird, chump. I need my protein because I am hangry. Hey, that's no way to speak to an upperclassman. Catch me outside and I'll teach you some respect. You're gonna catch these hands. Um, excuse me, sir, but it said in the handbook that fighting with magic was prohibited? Fighting? You got it all wrong. This is just me helping an ignorant freshman know his place. Now, let's just see how many ways they are to skin a cat. Oh boy. You're welcome. I really like your face. Thank you so much. You called? Get ready. Go, go, go. Yikes. Oh. Thank God for Riddle. I'm sad I didn't get him when I did that poll. Thank you for the follow, um, Hime Hime. Heim Heim. Thank you for the follow. Yikes. Ooh, Alwa. Get him. Ooh, dead. All right, so we're at least still strong enough to beat the battles. That's good. I can't wait to do all the stories and, like, meet all the characters. Because, like, obviously my favorite characters so far are the ones that I've interacted with in the story. Did you hear what I said? I was, like, yelling at you. You were? Yeah. What? I said, I, at 8.30, I'll stop and we can go to the gym. Oh. 8.30-ish. Okay. 8 it's in, like, 10 minutes. Oh, boy. You want me to take a little bit longer? Like, 8.45? No, it's too longer. I'm going to get too hungry. Oh, okay. Because I'm dinner. I mean, do you want to have your smoothie and then we'll go at 9? I can still have my smoothie at 8.30. Yeah. Cafeteria. Whoa. Didn't know you had that in you. Look, I'm gonna let you off the hook this time, but only because I don't want my pasta getting cold. Fair. I knew you were all talk. You better hope I never see you again. Um, what happened to no more incidents? Oh, I guess this is my life now. Sigh. Can we just get some lunch already? I missed breakfast. I'm about to collapse. I can't believe this. Textbook bullies at an academy that's supposed to be famous for producing exceptional mages. Uh, get over it already. It's time to chow out like the wind. This omelet is as fluffy as a cloud and practically bursting with cheese. So, I saw your guys' dorm, but what are your what are the other ones like? I'm sure you're familiar with the statues of the Great Seven. Night Raven College has a dorm themed after each one. You're that guy from this morning. You tricked us into painting those dumb roses. Tricked is such an ugly word. Do you think I wanted to spend my morning painting roses? It's dorm policy. I was just following orders. And grinning like a fiend all the while. Now, now, Ducey. Outside of the dorm, I don't care what rules you follow. Here, I'm just a friendly mentor figure. Please, do not call me Ducey. <laughs> That's how Cater shows he cares. And who are you? Ah, I should introduce myself. The name's Trey. Trey Clover. I'm a junior at Hearts Le Biol, uh, like Cater here. And you must be Jason, the new prefect from the dump of a, I, I mean, the rustic dorm. Wow. Nice save. I heard the whole story from Cater. Thanks for looking out for the, our boys yesterday. I don't recall inviting you to sit with us. Hey, now, we're all in the same dorm, right? Let's try to get along. Here, give me your digits. Um, I don't have a smartphone. Leave me alone. For real? I've read about Luddites like you, but never imagined I'd meet one in the wild. I know a place that sells the latest models cheap. How about you and I go on a phone shopping date? Cater, you're a freak. Uh, you're freaking out the freshman. Maybe take it down a notch. Ah, uh, sorry. I can get a little extra sometimes. What are we talking about? The dorms, yeah. Ah, uh, what fun to mentor new students. Go ahead. A-M-A. 
Before you get into the other dorms, uh, I wouldn't mind learning a bit more about ours. Like, what's the deal with all this Queen of Hearts rule number whatever junk? I'm sure you're familiar with the legendary Queen of Hearts already. She had to rule over a kingdom of weirdos and did it by emphasizing order and making strict rules. So, if you guys are just joining us, th there's this whole, like, piece of this game where, like, all the villains from those movies, like, they all see them as, like, heroes. So they, like, kind of twisted their stories to make them seem like more heroic, which is very kind of funny. Our dorm, Hearts Labuel, is an homage to her. By tradition, we wear armbands with the red and black of the Red Queen's dress. And we live by the rules she created. Can you make me any more bored? Now, the degree to which we adhere to the rules depends on the sitting house warden. Past wardens have been much more lax. Riddle, though, he doesn't mess around. Basically, you could say that we're honoring that tradition to the utmost extent possible. <sighs> Just my luck. So what are the other dorms like, then? Oh, is the next thing going to teach us about the different dorms? Um, Noda, thank you for the follow! The Legendary Seven. Oh, cool. We're going to learn about the other dorms now. The Red Rose Tyrant. Legendary Seven. Banana. So what are the other dorms like then? As Kater mentioned earlier, the dorms of this school are themed after the Great Seven. We have our dorm, Hearts the Buell, modeled after the strictness of the Queen of Hearts. To run down the rest of them for you, we have... Savannah Claw, based on the persistent spirit of the King of Ye Beasts. Octavinel, based on the benevolent heart of the Sea Witch. Scarabia, based on the mindful personality of the Sorcerer of the Sands. <laughs> uh, Pom Pomafior, Pom I wonder how you're supposed to say that. Pom Pomafior? Pomfior, based on the tenacity of the fairest queen. Ignahide, based on the diligence of the king of the underworld. And finally, Diasomnia, based on the noble spirit of the thorn fairy. Um, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> All those names are way too long. How's anyone supposed to remember them? Ah, uh, well, you get the idea. Want to or not, you'll learn them soon enough. At orientation, the Dark Mirror picks a dorm for you based on the essence of your being. As a result, each dorm ends up with a district sort of flavor, or distinct sort of flavor, we'll call it. That is so true. I totes see it. Flavor, huh? Thank you for the follow, Maddie. For example, look at that guy. Oh, it's Trey! For example... Oh, no, that's not Trey. That's, um, that's Howell. Is that his name? Um... Muscly Dogman, sure, why not? <laughs> that rough and tumble vibe he's got has Savannah Claw House written all over it. No doubt, that dorm is full of scrappy guys who are into, like, working out and fighting. How should I describe the vibe? Macho dudes, gruff big brothers, something along those lines? The black and gold arm bad is another giveaway. Huh, alright, so what about the guy with the gray and purple cord wrapped around his arm? Huh, alright, so... Oh, wait. I already read that. Um, he's got to be from the Octavinel house. And the student sitting at the table in front of him has a red and gold armband, Scarabia colors. Those dorms are for the smart students. They're always neck and neck in the academic rankings. Ah, but the current house warden of Scarabia doesn't seem to be all that great of a student. And here Cater goes off on some tangent. Um, ha, you learn fast. Let's get back on topic. You see, the flashy one with the purple and red armband, those are Pomfior colors. Whoa, the girl with the potion books, I really like her. What's she doing in a boys' school? You two are such morons. There aren't girls officially enrolled here. What? Oh, speaking of girls, there's a portrait in the West Hall who's a real beauty. Name's Rosaria. If you'd like to meet her, I'd be happy to introduce you. Maybe we can set something up. A painting? Hard pass. I don't care how cute she is if she's two-dimensional. Come on, man. Who cares about many dimensions? She's got... Anyway, uh, they take vanity pretty seriously at Pomfior. It's basically a dorm full of models. Their house warden has five million followers on Hamagicam. 
Hey now, they're not all just pretty faces. The students at Pomfior are among the best at potions and casting curses. True that. Next we have Ignahide. Their armbands are blue and black, but I don't see any around here. They tend not to be the most outgoing of students, even I don't have a single friend from that dorm. They're kind of the polar opposite of us sunny, fun-loving hearts the Buells. So they're gloomy and miserable? Hey, no need to put it like that, they just have a reputation for being quiet and serious is all. That dorm tends to attract magical energy, engineers, and students who are good with tech. And that just leaves Dio... What is that? Daya Han Yalara, was it? You were off to a good start, and then you rammed right into the guardrails. It's Diasomnia. I know that, I just misspoke, alright? Diasomnia House is... Mm, ah, look over there. Those guys are in the special seating area. You can tell from the neon green and black armbands. They're basically campus celebrities. The vibe they give off makes it real hard for regular schmucks like us to even approach them. Magic Cam is like Instagram. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of got that. And their house warden is uh, that times a thousand. There's a little kid in that group? Uh, we do get some child prodigies here, but that guy there is no kid. He's a junior like us. Name's Lilia, Lilia Van Rouge. He just teleported, um, Maleficent. I understand my apparent age interests you, as this bespectacled fellow ac accurately noted. Despite my fresh-faced, boyish good looks, it would be inaccurate to call me a child. Fresh-faced, he says. You need not gawk at us from afar. You may feel free to speak with us directly. We are schoolmates, are we not? All of us at Diasomnia House welcome you without reservation. <laughs> okay, so that's silver and that's Sebek. We're like, I'm like slowly learning the characters as the story progresses, right? So like, I'm trying to like pay attention. You don't like it? It's so fruity. Is it rotten fruit or something? No, what? Oh, weird. And yet those guys there aren't exactly rolling out the red carpet in terms of approachability. Our bat daddy. Forgive me for appearing above you during your meal. I do hope we can speak again. Their table has got to be over 20 yards away from ours, and they overheard our conversation. That's way creepy. Well, Diasomnia House does have a bit of a reputation for having lots of special students. Some of them are extremely talented in magic. Their house warden, Malleus Draconia, is considered to be one of the five best mages in the world. Now, this is real bad news. Though, I suppose the same could be said of our own dear house warden. No kidding, he collared me for eating one slice of tart. All his rule obsession is out of control. My rule obsession is out of control, is it? Oh no. You bet it is. Real's just a petty tyrant who leans into the whole rule shtick as a pretext to keep everyone under his puny thumb. I feel like three back up for the Maleficent house are based off the three fairies. Oh yeah, a little bit. I could see that. Ace behind you. House Warden! Riddle's gonna beat him. To be continued. Yes, yeah, so there's like chapters. Okay, what time is it? Okay, I'm gonna play one more because Carl's still eating his smoothie. Right? now or when we get back? Probably when we get back, because it's a lot to start. Yeah. Alright. Um, this is the last one I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna take a break because we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the gym. I don't wanna spoil anything. Yeah, don't don't spoil anything. No spoilers. I may um I may play again when I get back, just depending on how I'm feeling by then. I thought so, yeah. I mean I made them in the same thing. Yeah, that's how mine tasted. Yeah. No, oh, it's all fruit. House Warden! Hey, Riddle, what's shaking, pal? You're looking adorbs as always. Um, Cater, keep running that mouth and you'll lose it, along with the rest of your head. Sorry, sorry, my bad. You're the ugly guy who put that... Or you're the guy that put that stupid collar on me at the orientation ceremony. And you're the new students who were nearly expelled yesterday. I'll ask that you not refer to my signature spell as a stupid collar. The head mage's habit of tolerating rule breakers like you is going to send this entire campus spiraling into chaos one day. Those who break the rules should have their heads removed immediately, without exception. 
Dude, seriously, this guy's this guy looks like a wimp, but talks like a monster. The head mage may have forgiven you, but if you break any further rules, I assure you, I will not. <laughs> so, uh, listen, House Warden, sir. Any chance I could get you to remove this collar? I had intended to remove it once you'd taken an opportunity to reflect upon your crimes, but I've not detected so much as a hint of remorse in the foolishness I've heard you spout today. So I think I'll let you keep it for a while. Don't worry, the freshman curriculum is more focused on magical theory than practice, and your inability to use magic will help prevent incidents along the lines of what happened yesterday. Now, if you've finished your meal, you should quit gossiping and prepare for your next class. Rule 271 is quite clear. One must leave the table within 15 minutes of completing their lunch. You do understand what happens to rule breakers, I trust. More insane rules. I believe you need to say, yes, House Warden. Yes, House Warden. Very well, then. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> A Vice House Warden. I trust you'll... Uh, as Vice House Warden, I trust you'll avoid any further indiscreet conversation. Now, as per Rule 339, the post-meal beverage is to be a lemon tea with two sugar cubes. Thus, I must go to acquire my sugar cubes. Farewell. Don't even get me started on their violation of running out of sugar cubes. What is this? When does the anime come out? Eesh, that was terrifying. We don't know. That guy has some serious issues. Hey, don't disrespect him. Is the house warden gone? I totally just broke rule 186, never eat a hamburger on Tuesday. I don't know what I would have done if he caught me. I wish he wouldn't come here so we could at least eat lunch in peace. Real managed to secure the house warden title before the end of his very first week at school. It has started. <laughs> Um, I know he can come off a bit harsh, but he's not a bad guy. Everything he does, he does because he thinks it'll improve the dorm. Would a good guy go around putting collars on strangers' necks? Uh, that was your fault for causing trouble, Grim. Wait, I don't. I want to know what his signature spell is. Hmm? You're curious about Riddle, Riddle's signature spell? That means, like, it's a spell that only he can cast, right? I doubt he's the only person in the whole world. But yes, a signature spell is a magical ability that is, generally speaking, unique to its user. You'll learn about them in class soon enough. Riddle's signature spell allows him to temporarily seal away the magic of, of another. The spell is named... Off with your head. Even the name is completely psycho. To a mage, losing the ability to use magic is about as painful as losing your head completely, which is why all of us at Hart's Labule House try hard not to violate Riddle's rules. And as long as you are following the rules, Riddle isn't so scary. Speaking of which, are you still not going to let me into the dorm until I buy a tart, Cater? Don't at me, but yeah, that's Rule 53, so my hands are tied. <laughs> also, yeah. Riddle always looks forward to having the first slice of a tart, so if you want him to forgive you, you had better bring a whole tart. What happened to, we're all from the same dorm, let's try to get along, throw me a bone here! That's one thing, this is another. A whole tart has got to be pretty expensive. Seriously, I don't have that much money. Then why not make one yourself? They made those three tarts by hand, after all. Uh, it has to be cheaper than buying one. I don't know about that. You made those tarts, Trey? That's incredible. That was like something you'd find at a bakery. I appreciate that. We do have most of the stuff you need, but I'm afraid I'll need something from you in return. You're gonna charge me to make it? What kind of racket? No, I wouldn't take money off from freshmen. But Riddle wants a chestnut tart next, so I'm gonna need you to gather a ton of chestnuts. Like, that's any less of a hassle, but fine. How many do you need? Well, it's for the unbirthday party, so probably two or three hundred. Did you say hundred? And they're all gonna need to be boiled, shelled, and pureed. Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> I'm leaving too! You heartless cowards! Hold up, haven't you ever heard that food tastes better if you make it with your friends? This'll be a memory to treasure. It could even be your chance to make a splash as a cooking vlogger. Don't tell Riddle, the chestnut tarts are their tastiest when eaten right out of the oven. And the only people who get to experience that culinary privilege are the ones who make it. Well, when you put it that way, come on, humans, let's do this. Um, where can we find chestnuts anyway? I heard there's a whole bunch of chestnut trees in the woods behind the campus's botanical garden. Cool, plan made. Let's meet the botanical garden after last period. We're going to be up to our ears in chestnuts. <laughs> oh my god.
Are there 20 chapters in each book? Is that kind of the, the thing? 20 per thing? Um... Uh, yeah. For buying cards and, like, you have to do stuff to level up your characters. And you can also roll for characters, kind of like in, um... Kind of like in Genshin, yeah. Um, let me accept friend requests really quick. Um, you can... When you go do battles, you can use their, um... Their characters. Do you make your own character? No. You never see your character. Um, okay. Wait, it's going to get longer. Okay. Okay, I see. Yes. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter, like, what house you choose at the beginning. I think it kind of affects a couple of the first characters you get, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't affect the story as much as I thought it would. Um, thank you guys for the stream. I am going, we're going to take a break because I'm going to go to the gym. I may stream a little bit more later if I feel like I, because I might want to try and finish chapter, uh, book one at some point tonight. Um, but we're going to go to the gym and then when we get back, we're going to see what we're, how we're feeling, what we're doing. So thank you guys for hanging out. This was so much fun. If I don't stream more tonight, which I hope I will, but if I don't, I'll be streaming this more tomorrow. Um, tomorrow evening. So this is what I'm going to be streaming for like at least the next week, pretty, pretty much exclusively um as as i push through the story so um have a wonderful night and i will hopefully see you all super soon